Now you should be able to travel to and from Feldcroft in an instant. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Okay. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! Oh my god. No need to When scream. will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Oh my god. Now look what you've done. Thing. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, he's just trying to do something nice. Oh my god. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Oh yeah, of course. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Hmm. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. Mm. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. She looks so I much older. Hogwarts. I don't but know why. But I wouldn't why. mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take oh. away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I don't know why she's so sure. Um, yeah, I can try. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Of course. I wish you well. In hell! <laughs> I hope you know this meme with the uh, with Cardi B. Yeah. <laughs> that boy will fray my last nerve. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. 
I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Surely there's something... No, it yeah. could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Okay. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. I hope to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Oh, how well. are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Yeah, he was trying to do the right thing. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for mm -hmm. Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Okay. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from oh, whatever's going on second. at that abandoned oh, state. Rebellia. They've been digging for something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm here. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Can we? Yes, thanks. Oh, someone is in the room. Rock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. I won't rest. Dead. Oh, yeah, of course. You Okay. That's not all. One less human to worry about. <laughs> Let's get this over. Cover up why he's coming back this way. I will make you pay. I won't. You've made your last not. mistake. It's not the last one, of course. Yeah. Oh, such oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what? No, one less human to worry about. 
As if you could best. How nice of you to stop by. Where are you? Your acrobatics will only postpone the wow. inevitable. Oh. Why don't you come up here and fight me? Take no. Oh, child is. Okay. Uh, 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 are you doing anything or what? Why am I doing all the work? What the hell? I've been fighting since before you were born. Okay. Not quick enough. <laughs> I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Revelio. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Why I'm smiling? Thanks. Uh, it seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs. But I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her. Which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere. But they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Of course, let's go. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific Rebellion. reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. this bit abandoned long since I've lived here rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once centuries ago but that's all I ever heard it might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself by the fire the night that Anne was cursed. Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. This well looks familiar. Sebastian! I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Oh yeah, we've seen it. Okay. Sebastian, 
This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. Mm -hmm. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Mm -hmm. well, I Look think, at this. Yeah, I think Anne got Someone something Someone piled this here for a reason. This uh, little is boy will have... something? Only one way to find out. Confringo! Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's you, Sebastian. Oh my god. Ooh. It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have uh, survived the plague are forever damaged by their, by their loss. A fewer may pass. The skin may mend. A fever, oh, sorry. A fever may pass. The skin may mend a scar. But the devastating sorrow remains. Okay, so that was journal some kind entry of, of Isadora's. Oh, I should hold on to this. I traveled here to here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's uh, tough. The magic. It's as tough. The magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope, I will. Will I forever regret f not having done more? Okay. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Mm hmm. Revelia! Anything else here? It should be. Confringo! Oh. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. Revelia! A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Okay. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds Hi, strange to me anymore. I'm doing great. How Fair are enough. you? I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Yeah, uh, I'm playing mostly the Hogwarts now, but we'll see what's next. I don't know.
you have some suggestions something similar f mm, like this Hogwarts game or anything else Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. a triptych here. Seems as if something's missing. A note? Let's have a look. Okay. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then.